Hello YouTube, this is Kim Pogalips. And today I want to show you, actually, this is the Xbox Series X. And I've been trying to get my hands on one of these just so I can show the features of the X900H. And the reason being is um, with the Sony PS5, which it's a great system, uh, it doesn't do uh, VRR, auto low latency yet. Uh, it also doesn't do Dolby Vision, and um, the Xbox here does. I will show you, if you go into your settings, that the... Go into 4K details. You can see, now on this TV, it's, it's a little weird. I'm sorry for the glare in the back, but it supports 4K. You can see that it supports Dolby Vision for gaming up to 60 hertz. Now, it'll also support HDR10 up to 60 hertz. Um, however, it will not do 4K at 120 hertz and Dolby Vision. You have to either pick one or the other, uh, which is, uh, it's really bad on Sony's part because uh, LG, um, Vizio, Hisense, all those you can play in Dolby Vision at 120 hertz, um, but this uh, this one, unless you go into the settings and like not the 4K details, but the modes. See, I can go in and I can allow all this, um, but if I do take off the eight, auto HDR that allow Dolby Vision, allow Dolby Vision for gaming, um, then it'll allow it. Because you can see, let me show you. I'm stuck at 60 hertz. Now, if I change it, if I change it to 120 hertz, it actually drops this down to 1080p. Um, it's like an, the LG OLEDs uh, done great. You can do 120 hertz at uh, on Dolby Vision, and it looks great. It's seamless. Now, I will say this: this game looks phenomenal in Dolby Vision. On this TV um, and let me I will show you that if you go into your settings see I'm at if you see right here I'm on Dolby Vision 100 at uh, 4k um, now the issue with this TV is when I go to external inputs formats now you have to turn this on. You you start off with standard, enhanced. Now if you do enhanced, it's you can do 120 hertz at 4K, but no Dolby Vision, no HDR10. This one, you have you have Dolby Vision, but only at 60 hertz. Now if you turn on enhanced VRR, uh, it's really <laughs> really oh, it's I'll just show you. It's really dark. Um, and what I'll have to do is... What I'll have to do is I've got to close this out. To quit this game, go back into it. And you'll see, you see this picture right here, you'll see it in a second. It pops up and it's a lot duller. See, now it's in HDR10. It took away the Dolby Vision because you're in VRR. Now, don't get me wrong. Uh, this TV is an excellent TV. It does have VRR. It does have auto low latency. It does do Dolby Vision. However, it won't do everything at once. Now, and I'm not boasting about the OLEDs, but if you go to an OLED TV... They do it all. They do the Dolby Vision, the 120 hertz, uh, the VRR, auto low latency, and everything. Uh, except the A1. The A1, I, if you're just in it for movies, I'd maybe get an A1 OLED. But if you're going to do gaming, I would at least, I would at least go with the B1 or C1. But um, I, um, I, I've showed in previous videos the PS5 on here, and it does not do VRR. The Sony PlayStation 5 does not do VRR as of today. 
uh, they're supposed to um, they're supposed to update it so it will to be compatible with all their XR TVs, the Sony XR TVs. This is this is not considered an XR, but they consider this one of their premium TVs from last year. So they're going to, you know, they've already updated this one. This one already has VRR auto low latency, but with the PlayStation 5, it doesn't support it yet, which is, I mean, that's asinine to me because you would think, okay, I'm advertising VRR and stuff for my system. Uh, maybe I should include it, but they haven't. Um, now, I'm, I'm not going to lie, this, especially this is Halo Infinite, of course, multiplayer, everybody's playing it right now, because it comes out Wednesday. Um, it's super smooth on this TV, even, even though, um, uh, even in Dolby Vision, when it's only at 60 hertz, it's still super smooth, but... Uh, right now, I have the VRR on, and it's on the Xbox, and it's on the uh, TV itself. And so, it's it's really seamless. It, it really is. Um, now, the only problem with the VRR, it's making the picture a little bit more dull looking. It's still in 4K, but it's like dull looking, like the colors ain't as poppy and stuff like that as when you have it in Dolby Vision. But... Uh, the thing's going to be here is your gameplay. If you're being competitive and stuff, I mean, your VRR, you're, you're at 120 hertz. There's just no Dolby Vision. Um, if you're playing a game like Gears of War, just like Campaign, then Dolby Vision's going to be just fine for you. Uh, VRR is pretty much just for, in my opinion, is just for um, playing like online and if you're really into it, like this, if you're in the, the competition, then that's what I would use the VRR for. Um, but I mean, the, the I mean, it looks, I mean, it's it's a great looking game. I mean, um, it's real smooth. I mean, it's real fast. You can see, I mean, as soon as I hit the button, oh, this guy's just standing there. Okay. <laughs> but, um, it, it's really fast and um, really smooth. The graphics are really good. They're a little bit dull, like I said. But, I mean, you can't expect too, too much. Um, because, I'm not going to lie, this is not an OLED. This is a great TV. It's great for watching movies. It is great for playing games, but it's no OLED. And I'm not down in this TV. I love this TV. However, I think Sony needed to put a little more thought into future proofing because it's just not as streamlined as an OLED. Um, I would like to play 120 hertz in Dolby Vision. Um, I mean, like I said, this is a little bit dull. I mean, you could still see, I mean... Um, on the, in the VRR, I, I will say this, um, I'm not really too worried about the local dimming um, because I'm not, you know, I'm not watching a movie. If I'm watching a movie, then I'll worry about the local dimming. Uh, but as for gaming wise, I mean, it's, it's really good. Um, of course, this is just my opinion. I mean, take it with a grain of salt because you know, opinions are like, you know what? Everybody's got one, right? But um, as for me, I, I think it's a great setup. If you do the Xbox Series X with this TV. Now, the PlayStation 5 is different. Uh, the PlayStation 5 doesn't do the VRR or anything like that. And it, I mean, it still looks good. Don't get me wrong. It's just not going to have that pop and, uh, and the detail uh, that the Xbox is having right now. I mean, it's really super, super smooth. Um, I mean, it's it's like it's like flowing water. I, that's how I can describe it. It just. Um, so anyway, um, I apologize for the long, lengthy, winded video. Uh, I just wanted everybody to see that you know the VRR on this TV does work. 
um, and it works really well. However, you can't have graphics and and gameplay. You just can't. Uh, it's either one or the other with this TV. Uh, so if you're wanting something and have your pie and eat it too, I guess they say, um, or your cake and eat it too, sorry, I got pie on the mind, um, then I would go with a C1 OLED or even the Vizio uh, M series. The M series that just came out, the new revamped version, which looks very, very well. I, I've seen it and it looks really awesome, actually. But um, uh, one of those TVs will do you just fine at having Dolby Vision at 120 hertz. Uh, Vizio, believe it or not, uh, has that uh, IP gaming engine in their TVs and it runs super smooth and I'm not plugging Vizio I mean I like all TVs I'm just saying that um, that it, uh, the Vizio does really really well with it um, not as good as the OLED with picture wise because of course the OLED um, I mean the OLED's king in my book because I mean perfect blacks perfect color uh, okay, I'm gonna stop right there. I'm not going. <laughs> I'm not going to plug an OLED, but anyway, um, and if if it was me and I have this TV, the the X900H Sony, uh, this is the 2020 model. Uh, I would pair it with the Xbox Series X if you want the the most out of the TV. Um, like I said, I'm not knocking the PS5, and the PS5 is supposed to have the VR up. VRR update soon. Nobody knows how soon. Uh, but once it happens, I'm sure that it's going to look just as good. But, uh, oh, lost that one. Anyway, um, this is Kim Pocalypse. Like and subscribe to my channel and share my videos, and I'll have more for you next time.